Tomorrow for breakfast, I'm making my healthy dosa. This is what I usually eat for breakfast. This has one cup of urad, which is black gram, um, without skin, and uh, two tablespoons of urad dal, black gram, with skin, and mung dal, which is uh, green dal, um, one cup, and masoor, whole, that's one tablespoon, and malt, we call it ragi, these uh, are millets, so this is a quarter cup, and uh, uh, pearl millet, that's also two tablespoons, and uh, another uh, small millet, that's about a tablespoon, and chana, black chana, uh, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of white chana, and um, beans, kidney beans, uh, kind of kidney beans, is there about a tablespoon? Uh, this is just approximately I do uh, measurements but you can put anything more or less so I soak all these overnight and tomorrow morning I will blend this into batter and then I'll show it to you This is going to be the general batter for my idli, dosa, otapam, punukulu, anything. So I washed all these things and soaking them overnight. And I will, you know, you have to at least put lots of water to immerse the beans otherwise once it soaks it comes up these beans are ready beans and uh, all the other millets I soaked overnight and cleaned everything now I am going to grind this to batter batter is ready this is my own recipe I created because when doctors said I cannot eat white carbs I needed something and uh, as a South Indian we need those as idlis and stuff we crave for so I created this one without white rice I am making utapam for breakfast this morning. These are the ingredients. Sliced uh, green chili, ginger, onions, cumin seed and batter. This batter doesn't need to be outside after we grind it. We can use this right away. So this is the consistency. Little thick you need. Add uh, cumin seed. Few green chilies according to your taste. And some onion. ginger and put tiny oil on top and 
and close this and cook for about a minute and a half. has been minute and a half you just flip the whole thing like that if you don't have this one you can just uh, flip the both of them and let's see well, one is trying to get away from this Gently, gently press like that. Let this cook for another minute. This whole thing has to cook on medium to medium low heat. Needs to be cooked a little longer. Close that. To check whether it is cooked or not, take a toothpick and do that. If it is clear, that is cooked. Looks good. And let's see. Should be like this. It's very, very nice. serving with peanut chutney this is very very healthy breakfast I believe and uh, you can even add cilantro carrots all that to both of them but I don't have it right now so I didn't add it enjoy folks so making those here today with the same batter Put the oil, let the edges. Just... 
let this cook on medium heat and we have to thin the batter to this consistency by adding water for dosa you need this consistency Because of this batter doesn't have any rice to stick, it's all fibery. Uh, it is a little hard to make those but you know. Once you thin the batter and let that cook on uh, medium heat, a while I'm keeping the video the entire time so it can uh, see how long this is taking to cook Bubbling up a little, just try to break. Mm. took almost three and a half minutes I'm serving this with uh, peanut chutney it looks dark because of the fiber is not like a regular uh, menapattu today I'm making idli I put a drop of oil in each suction of the idli maker and I will put the batter in. So this is the same batter I've been using for those who tapa all that. So just a tiny bit here about uh, tablespoon on each section spread like that
stack these up. One more. So this would make 12 of idlis. I put this steamer, you know, the pot, uh, idli maker pot and added uh, a glass of water underneath and turned the stove on. And stick this in here. And cover this and cook for 12 minutes. So it has been 15 minutes. I checked once at 12. It didn't cook. Uh, regular idlis, you know, they can cook in 12 minutes. But this is a thick, fibery idli. So I waited for another 3 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes. Let's check again. It is clean that means in it is cooked so turn the stove off and leave it closed for five minutes so it is cooled down it has been five minutes to remove it you kind of loosen it the edge so it comes off like that So this is not very good looking like uh, white idli but it is very very healthy and lots of fiber and uh, is delicious too and it is soft and delicious. I'm serving this with peanut chutney today.